Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I wanted to do a comparison video for you between the Ledger Stacks and the Ledger Flex cryptocurrency hardware wallets, the newest offerings from Ledger. Before I get too far into it, I will let you know that I have done full setup videos for both products, so I'll leave references to those for you up in the top right info corner and down in the description below. So let's jump in. So the biggest difference, of course, is the price point. The Ledger Stacks comes in at $399 and the Ledger Flex is $249. So before I get too far into the differences between these two, let's talk about what's the same. So the first thing to note is that both devices have the same security setup. They are both based on the industry leading Ledger programmable secure element chip which runs the Ledger OS in a protected space. Both of these devices can generate a random private key in a protected space and keep it safe from tampering. Both of these wallets run their cryptographic operations within the secure element chip, unlike some other hardware devices that use coprocessors. And both of these devices have a secure powered screen that is powered directly from the secure element chip, unlike some other hardware wallets that don't have secure screens that are run from a coprocessor. So what we're looking at with both the Ledger Stacks and the Ledger Flex is industry leading security. So if we go over here to the Ledger Flex, you can see that it also is based on the exact same security model. So you don't have to compromise in security to get the lower price of the Ledger Flex. Also, both products support the Ledger Security Key app, which allows you to use the device as a pass key for logging into your important accounts. This functionality is supported through Bluetooth and USB. So you can use it as a pass key logging into apps through your phone or on your computer. So it's very versatile and both devices support this. Also, both devices are customizable. You can display an NFT on the lock screens of the devices, or you can use a picture from your computer for your lock screen. So both devices support this. So let's talk about the differences. You'll notice that the screen size of the Flex is smaller and the Flex does not support wireless charging. But let's talk about what that really means for the user interface. So let's compare the look and feel of the two devices. As you can see, the Ledger Stacks has a larger screen and in their powered off state, uh, you can see the name of the device. Um, on the stacks, you would see it on the side over here. Now, this is very important if you have multiple devices. A lot of people uh, that I've dealt with, with tech support uh, in the past, uh, have uh, confused their devices, and it causes all kinds of grief with people. So uh, to have a device that has a built-in labeling feature is very important. So you can see here when I go into the pin entry that the ledger stacks has a larger screen with a much thinner bezel and that the screen actually wraps around the side of the device. So the Ledger Stacks is truly a groundbreaking screen. It is an organic TFT screen. Uh, it's one of the first mass produced e-ink screens on the market. Um, and the fact that it wraps around the side uh, at 180 degrees is also pretty cool. Uh, this allows you to read the title of the device from the side if it were stacked on top of other stacks, right? That's one of the features of the stacks is its stackability with other devices. You'll also notice that you can uh, read its status of whether it's locked and its battery uh, from the side. 
Also, if we compare both devices, you'll notice that the Ledger Flex is a bit thicker as well. That might be a consideration for some people, uh, but basically both devices can fit pretty uh, comfortably in your pocket. Um, they both have available uh, covers, magnetic covers that you can buy to protect it from scratches. So you can see on the interface that uh, if you see uh, a dim line there, then you can swipe to the next screen of apps. The same with the Flex. So the Flex has an e-ink display. It's just a flat display and it doesn't wrap around the edges. But all of the cool features of the e-ink display that I talked about with the stacks apply to the Flex in a flat format, just slightly smaller. Now I did want to point out a subtle difference between these two devices. If you look closely, you can tell that the keypad letters are bigger on the Ledger stacks. Of course, it makes sense that they would be. It is a larger screen. But this is a big difference for me when it comes to using the keypad. Uh, I find the Ledger Flex keypad to be a little difficult to use. Um, I'm much more comfortable using the bigger keypad on the stacks, even though the difference is pretty small. But let's look at one other little difference. Notice that when you're performing a restore on either of these devices, that between the keypad and the entry, there is more screen real estate. So notice that using the exact same word that I'm trying to complete, I see a choice of four on the stacks and only two on the flex. Now we can swipe this way, but it is a little bit inconvenient. Now I know that most of you are not going to be doing restores on a day-to-day -day basis, but I've done quite a few restores and they can be pretty tedious and having more screen real estate and being able to choose from four different words makes completing a restore much faster and much more convenient. So that is something that you need to consider when you're deciding between the two devices uh, as far as interface goes. So which of these two devices should you buy? Well, personally, I recommend the Ledger Stacks. I believe it is a superior product, mostly due to its interface. Uh, but it does have more advanced features like wireless charging and a screen that wraps around the edge. Not only is the interface improved, but the, interfa the improved interface and screen give it additional functionality as well. Now, a lot of people might say, I really don't care about interface, and that's fine. Both devices have the same industry-leading security. So you can't really go wrong uh, if you decide you want to just get the flex because you don't care about interface but for me interface is very important with a crypto hardware wallet second only to security the reason that we don't have more widespread adoption and use of cryptocurrency hardware wallets i believe is because of the interface uh, previous models had buttons and tiny screens and lots of people just weren't comfortable with using devices like that i've had a a lot of questions over the years from people that just couldn't figure out how to use the interface on a Ledger device. Questions that for me seemed obvious weren't so obvious to other people that were using the devices for the very first time. So finally, we have a device that is as intuitive to use as your phone or tablet. And uh, as I mentioned, the bigger screen uh, makes it that much easier to use than the smaller screen of the Flex. So my vote goes with the Ledger Stacks for improved interface and additional functionality. So if you have any questions about anything I did, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.